ஹாய் ஹலோ நமஸ்தே வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெரி குட் மார்னிங் டு ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி பர்சன் வாட்சிங் திஸ் வெபினார் நான் தான் உங்கள் ஹோஸ்ட் மற்றும் தோஸ்ட் ஃபார் த டே பிரசன்னா வெங்கடேஷ் பிள்ளை சோஃபோமோ கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஆல் ரைட் வித் தேட் பீங் சைட் இன்னைக்கு என்ன நாள் ஏன் இந்த வெபினார் எதுக்காக இந்த வெபினார் அப்படின்னு கேட்டீங்கன்னா இல்ல இன்னைக்கு எலெக்ஷன் டே இல்ல சாரி ஃபார் த பேட் ஜோக் பட் திஸ் இஸ் அ வெபினார் விச் இஸ் பிராட் டு யூ ஆல் ஆஸ் அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் இனோவேஷன் சீரீஸ் பை த இன்ஸ்டிடியூஷன்ஸ் இனோவேஷன் கவுன்சில் ஆஃப் சென்னை இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் ஆஃப் டெக்னாலஜி This session is going to be on angel investment and VC funding opportunities for early stage entrepreneurs. Before moving on to the event, I would like to welcome the chief guest of our event today, Dr. Fazalur Rahman, founder and director of Talent Tips. All faculty members and my fellow college mates, along with everyone present here, I hope to be inspired and step out of this webinar with new ideas. Talent Tips is an online learning and development hub. they follow a motto of stay informed stay focused and stay inspired they post multiple articles blogs ebooks and case studies on their website dr fazalur rahman founder and director of talent peps is a phd holder in leadership development program effectiveness and a thoughtful consultant with a combination of creativity and quantitative abilities with over 20 years of focus hr domain experience he is a creative problem solver with his ability to write and speak to perfection he has led many innovative changes to bring strategic development within the human resources division of abu dhabi offshore company he believes in develop, uh, delivering sustainable values to organizations he is associated with and has tried to bring about a positive change in the business functionality and methodolog- methodologies he implements new ideas and concepts for highest standard professional objectives and he has also received various accolades in recognition of his exceptional mentoring skills and professional contribution his vision is to develop the young generation's new age skills and to mentor a future perfect transformation it is my honor to welcome you sir and with all of it i would like to welcome you to the podium please sir thank you thank you so much and uh, you saved my time by you know giving a very in depth uh, introduction and uh, it's a great start i can see a very vibrant energy in you the way you started okay so let us keep it uh, so live uh, guys uh, we are uh, very open for the discussion so don't feel you know um, uh, difficult to ask questions because uh, you are not asking the doubt of yourself it will be answering to all the participants so that feel free to ask questions raise your hands or put um, um, your questions in the chat box so that um, any time you can interrupt there is uh, as like startup there is no hard and fast rule for this webinar okay so uh, he gave the great introduction so i don't have to uh, blow my own trumpet again i am fazlur rahman i did my phd in leadership development program effectiveness spent almost 20 years international market and came back to india with the vision of developing the younger generation uh, really you know uh, our younger generations are uh, not uh, focusing beyond their core skills that is my complete focus beyond core skills uh, every youngster should develop their critical skills like support skills business and industrial knowledge and uh, behavioral skills leadership skills so uh, it should be an entire gamut so that that domain will become strong people can be successful within the uh, personal professional and career front so today we are going to discuss a very unique um, idea like you know what are the opportunities available for you know the startup early stage investors Uh, in terms of angel investment and vc funding so i'm just going to give you an idea about uh, what is the greatest opportunity available in and around the world okay because for the past 5 years i am living 24 hours within this startup ecosystem when i launched talent peps in 2018 with the blessings of two investors from united arab emirates till now even during the covid turbulence and all these things you know we were able to really thrive uh, talent peps in a very different dimension so that i'll be the right person to answer all your questions all your uh, expectations so what we have today is to uh, let us start simple as i told you you can reach me any time so what is your expectation today is all about money is all about funding 
it's all about uh, VCs and angel investments. Uh, I don't want to start from that part because for a startup, funding is the last, last resource you should be looking of. Okay. So what it holds for the future, that is the real question. Where you will stand in another five years, will this ecosystem support you to withstand for this five years? I never thought that when I launched in 2018, uh, there will be a big turbulence named COVID will come. You know, I have to survive uh, and sail within the hardships for around 18 months, you know, without uh, any business. It's a zero business. But powerfully, we turned our energies into uh, some of the other areas where we can enhance ourselves so that to withstand uh, within the market. And we successfully did it. So what is the real future world holding for the young entrepreneurs like you? So the world, we call it as UCA world. You might have heard this. This is a very you know uh, common term uh, which is used in every webinar for the past two years. So it is so volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous. So in this world, you are going to sow your seed and it has to sprout and grow, right? So what exactly is the UCA world? You can just watch this video Fuka world an acronym of volatility the speed and turbulence of change uncertainty outcomes even from familiar actions are less predictable complexity vastness of interdependencies in globally connected economies and societies and ambiguity has more than one possible and may therefore cause confusion, inexactness. FUCA, the challenge and threat for today's corporate world. But in future, FUCA is going to be the new norm. So when we produce this video, it is 2019. Okay. We never expected that UCA is going to be the new normal. Everything has become volatile, uncertain, ambiguous. You can say, you know, every left, right and center, we had uh, uh, this impact. So how we are going to challenge the UCA world? The, it is a great effort uh, and uh, the great uh, emotional intelligence we will be requiring to face this world. That is the secret what uh, we have to first discuss I'm thinking on. So what is the secret of success within the UCA world? Uh, the Tamil uh, boys particular part or say to go luck ka kilo labor ka kilo bhakti ka kilo adala padding na uh, next stanza la they will say uh, they will be adding hope talent also okay idala say to kattina periya pottalam secret of success they will be uh, singing but startup environment one more fuel is required not only you know luck labor bhakti hope talent and all it is not going to Realize your dream, achieve your vision, where we also need funding, which is so crucial. And that should be coming from the right uh, minded investors. That is the secret of success. If, when you are going to select a co-founder, an investor for your venture, from that point, the success starts. If your co-founder or the investors have a different uh, thought process or different vision, if it is not aligned with your vision, then at a point of time, your ideation may get dissipated. So the secret lies not in the funding. It is the way how you are selecting the people to join hand with you to enhance your business practices and to have the journey along with you to with a greater vision what you have they should also understand so the future what it has first you should understand so the startup ecosystem is growing exponentially in india 
be it e-commerce or health tech, fintech, edtech, you name any tech, you can see the e-commerce is growing at the range of you know 27 uh, percent uh, between 19 to 24 they are um, you know predicting and uh, every fintech or edtech is growing beyond you know 20 billion 30 billion in next 10 years so it is the potential is so huge for a stack but how much potential is there the similar threat is also there so that when you start your journey you have to be very clear with your plan at least for next three years it should be uh, very strong and for five years with little bit of flexibility so this is the one which is really going to attract uh, the investment side opportunities are available as i told you you know um, whether it is angel investment or um, uh, VC funding or you know through going through an incubators or accelerators or if you are uh, applying for a grant from any um, government support and uh, Startup India is bringing up so many new initiatives to keep the startup ecosystem live you know so it is very dynamic so that you can also um, uh, avoid those benefits uh, in the future when you are going to launch your companies so opportunities is ample so get ready how to get ready is the one what we are going to discuss so any startup will be going through this seventh step this is a very common um, what you know Stephen Simmet is uh, talking about uh, you have to start with an ideation probably you all uh, will be in that level or maybe you may be testing your idea say like a prototype uh, but uh, talent webs like organization have uh, is now slowly moving from fourth to fifth stage because we have a viable minimum viable product and it is the best product market fit and now we are scaling up so we are moving from fourth to fifth so like this you are going to move from the stage one to stage seven as i told you first there is no hard and fast rule for startups okay it could be happen in one year or it could be happen in seven years all you need to have is uh, to hold your passion and to be patient your patience should be testified every single second, every moment. I'm not really scaring you guys, okay? Uh, this is where what the world I'm living in for the past five years, okay? So it will be tested. So all you need to have uh, process is the resilience and you have to be uh, really tough-minded. Um, you, you should not be uh, really uh, feeling bad for taking any unfashionable decisions. So these are all the life of a startup entrepreneur, we can say. So first five stages, you know, you have to be so uh, calculative towards the money. It should be, you should try to conserve the money because that is the early stage of, uh, we call it as pre-seed stage where the investor will come and invest just on your idea. They don't even see the uh, product. So they will see that um your, your 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 idea and it is what it is addressing to the society what is the gap you have identified and um, how you are going to develop it the technology behind it so these are all the things usually they will so where from the investor comes in this stage uh, between uh, first and third stage is the pre seed stage is the crucial one you know mostly uh, it will be from your front circle and uh, your um, relatives, families. So those are the people we call as angel investors. They are our angels to guard us, to invest on us, uh, to, to motivate us. You know. So there are few high net worth individuals across the world who are really looking forward for uh, you know uh, potential startups to invest those are all called as angels there are many networks are available 
within the Indian uh, startup ecosystem as well as in the international uh, startup ecosystem. Very actively what I have seen is two. One is the Chennai Angels Network and Mumbai Angels Network. These two uh, angel networks are very good. They have a very strong um, assessment system as well as very um, good uh, networking system also. So they like to promote um, the products, what they are receiving, they evaluate the ideation and they just move it within the uh, networks. And networks are also very good in uh, evaluating and helping for the prototype stage. I have come across many of the people in the early stage who are really have very good portfolio, we can say. They are very strong in the market and they really evaluate you very well and they guide you. Sometimes they will be uh, uh, not a, uh, they will not be interested in your product to invest, but they may be a good mentor for you to guide you to the next level in terms of technology or in terms of go to market strategy or in terms of, you know, just uh, uh, improvising your product and all these things. So uh, you have to, when you are sourcing funds, start with your family, friends, and your relatives. Go to your phone contacts first. Once you complete the ideation and you want a substantial money, say like say 50 lakhs if you want, sit one day and look into your contacts. Who are my real uh, people who can help me? Who are, uh, who will be able to uh, evaluate and value my proposal and who are really the high net worth within your contacts. So select those people, reach them and try to pitch with the level. And then once you are getting uh, a, a, a valuable feedback from them and people are showing interest, that means your ideation is really good. You can move to the uh, prototype stage where you will be able to see and you will be able to get a feel and then you know uh, you can see how your product is going to uh, come out so that you will be able to realize the minimum viable product so at this point your real challenging journey starts because by the time only you will be going to test your product with the real user whatever the design thinking uh, you have done before will be completely uh, behaving in 180 degree when you reach the users. That's what happened to me. But at the same time, <laughs> I will not say that it is going to happen to you. It may be entirely a different experience for you. No uh, two startups are similar and they will never have the similar experience. So you have to jump into the market and to test it and you need to get the feedback from the user to you can you know make your product market fit you can enhance the product and all this stuff so where that comes then you can move from the angel investments to the venture capital funding so there are other three four steps you may have to live with the uh, venture capitals or even you can go again to the angel investors to get the seed fund level because uh, when you go to the venture capitalist always your product should be a globally reachable product you got it and the investment what they will be looking forward will be more than you know 10 million 20 million 25 million like that so until then going to uh, stage four you know going to the VC is not advisable. You need to fix it within the angel investment or you can go for a grant seed or accelerator programs where people will be able to really mentor you, handhold you, guide you and they also will come and support on the uh, seed level investment so that you can reach up to the scaling level. And then life will be once you started scaling uh, a daily traction is there in your for your product. Customers are really providing a valuable feedback. The testimony is so strong and your product is really getting enhanced day by day based on the user experience. Then the ball game is entirely different. The last three steps 
scaling, potential profitability, and making it as a cash cow business is entirely different ball game where the real VCs will play the role. So the funding sources, as I was explaining, you know, for the pre-seed, you have to make it from uh, family, friends are the first one you have to look into it because they will be having two things. They know you, your value. Also, they will be a bit compassionate with you. Okay, he's trying something. I should help that. Will be. But whereas a real investor from uh, even an angel investor from outside, a high net worth individual or a micro VCs, uh, will be thinking and evaluating you from the investment point of view. There will be uh, no big compassion or empathy will be playing around in that. Okay, the the situation is so hard. You know, the VUCA world is really providing a big pressure on the uh, capitalists. So they will be evaluating not only on the scalability of the product. They will be also looking into the future. Okay, how I will be exiting from this company? What will be the ROI of my investments? So in how many years I'll be able to exit? How, what is the company's plan at the moment? Maybe when you are in the seeding stage, pre-seed stage, ideation stage, you will not even think about uh, these stages like, you know, exit stage and all, you will never think, but you should have a plan for it whether it is going to happen or not, but you should really think about it. That's why I told create a three year plan. It should be so close to your actions and a five year plan could be a little bit flexible. So this will give you a solid idea where you have to get through. What is your immediate milestones to achieve? And you can even measure it as a KPI, you know, how I am performing. I'm really reaching my milestones or not. If not, why not? All these things, this business plan will be able to help you. So try to create a solid business plan where you will be able to see lots of things. You can uh, put it in the process side and this pre-seed level, ideation level itself, you know, first and foremost thing, what I will suggest is even if it is few thousands or few lakhs, don't uh, really worry about spending on the IP, intellectual property rights uh, to get your patents and copyrights. First thing first, protect your trademarks, your ideations, if it is uh, really worth applying for the patent, then you have to go for those things. There are so many good people available in the market. Uh, there are lots of service uh, available through the Startup India websites where you can get it. And Tamil Nadu government is also now very uh, dynamically involving in promoting the startups. So TN Startup is very active for the past uh, six, seven months I'm seeing. They also providing such services in terms of intellectual property. So that is the first and foremost thing what you need to get on. And post that, you know, you can go to um, uh, VCs or the angel investment side and all. So where to identify these people? See, I, I uh, take this uh, website uh, link, you know, I, I even I will put it in the chat before uh, while we close the webinar. I will put this in the chat. So these are all the people, uh, the active angel investors in India. You can, uh, you know, if you want to pitch, you can uh, reach them through LinkedIn, connect with them, connect uh, in the, be active in the social media. That is one thing you have to, we will talk about the promotion things in the later part. So reach these people, they will be able to, uh, you know, help you or your institution itself having a beautiful innovation and incubation cell where they will be incubate you guide you mentor you develop your product to see it as a minimum viable product and help you to attract the um, investors in terms of angel or VCs. so what you need to do is it is 
when you are developing as an entrepreneur it is not only you know looking forward for the funding okay it is all your focus should be on product development that you need to develop your talent as a student as a uh, entrepreneur the, the aspiring entrepreneur you have to develop your talent for tomorrow rather for yesterday that's why i told you talent perhaps is supporting beyond the core skills of course you are very strong in the core skills but there are critical skills business and behavioral skills and the leadership skills are very important to be successful in the business world so what you need to do is to uh, allocate a time for continuous development uh, even though you are going to be a businessman to be an entrepreneur but still you need to allocate at least 1 hour a week for your continuous development that could be to learn something or you can identify your strength area of development and you can look forward for uh, a mentor who can help you on, on, a, on a monthly basis you can meet them and discuss with them to get some strong technical help so that you can keep on working along to uh, you know meet the change you know so that the world is so fast and it is dynamic in change so change driven world is going around so you have to be also adopt that situation with ease so for this you have to be so fast agility is the key i will be saying okay uh, you have to learn and react uh, to the things fast so agility is not only willingness to learn okay whatever the learning you took that learning to be applied and to see the result whether it will work or not if it is not working then again go back and find a solution so you have to be so agile in nature when you are coming into the startup ecosystem otherwise say there is a book named you know it is not the big eat the small it is the uh, fast eat the slow so that is the re, you know um, exact thing which is happening in the industrial revolution 4.0 is um, just happening so it, if you are slow then everything will be gone so try to uh, keep yourself pushing with the agility so that you can meet the pressure and anything you are planning today you are ideating today try to uh, put it say like beyond 3 years 5 years how this product will be the best fit to the market whether it will be a real product that will answer the user um expectation which will match the user expectation will it be a useful product if if it is not good even after 5 years then identify the gaps be proactive now itself you think beyond say 5 years how my product will be where i will stand my product will take a shape in what way so try to keep some designs in your mind at least and if it is something good discuss with people who are really able to help you technically and try to uh, get the copyright or patent and save your idea into the design that will be the ideal way and uh, one more thing what i have to tell is the branding okay as a startup entrepreneur branding is very very important so for your brand for your product or for your ideation or your um, startup who is the brand you are the only brand available no one knows about your company name no one knows about your product uh, so you have to be the brand ambassador to promote the startup and your product so it is very tough job you need to be outspoken lively to see uh, you know you should never say no to meet people you should never say no to the networking of course time will be so demanding but still you have to make a plan and uh, you need to strengthen your linkedin profile social media profiles and be active make your presence in the social media and then you can make it so personal branding is you know 
you have to figure out who you are what is the best in you so grow your presence in the online that is the only way where you can create a shout for your product initially of course you will not have a big uh, funding for uh, um, branding right so you cannot spend much on the branding you have to be so conservative on it so it is good to shout within the online presence so that people will keep on if you are going to keep on reminding them people will know that okay someone is coming what he is doing oh it's so interesting at one point of time they will try to connect with you that's how i grow because after 20 years of my absence 20 years okay almost two decades uh, except one or two friends and again army friends say illa i ha- i'm just developing everything new for the past 5 years but i did it like that i i made my shout you know i, I made my presence strong in the networking now immediately i will go i meet people i keep everyone friendly because uh, you will see uh, you will experience people comes and goes okay even employees they will come and go but you can't do anything on that part uh, you have to accept everything as is and then to move on so try to create your Uh, brand of yourself so personal branding is very very important beyond the funding and all this stuff so what guy kawasaki says about a pitching so when you are going to get your ideation okay from the uh, ideation point to take it to the angel investor to the initial level or you are trying to pitch it to your incubation council let us assume it like that what guy kawasaki like people telling us it should be a 10 slides presentation for 20 minutes maximum with a 30 font size so 10 20 30 is the principal is suggesting see this i just uh, put um, brought his sample okay it is guy kawasaki's design it's not mine so it is available in canva you can um, just uh, see the design very clear simple straight forward uh, gives a title and then to you know uh, say a problem opportunity uh, whatever it is in a simple two statements and then the value proposition what is the underlying magic what is the secret sauce lying in your uh, product how user will be taking it what is your business model whether you are going to take it directly to the customers or you are going to take it to the business or taking it to the government how it is and then what will be your go to market plan how you are going to market it financial projections and key metrics and current status accomplishment to date timeline all these things so keep it as simple as possible see these days um, within the startup ecosystem most of the people uh, they want to get the elevator pitch maximum 3 minutes they will give you to pitch your product elevator pitch is becoming so common except few people uh, you will not even get you know that 20 minutes what guy kawasaki is telling it is about 10 to 15 minutes max they will be uh, providing you the time to pitch on so you have to uh, develop that skill also in parallel you need to have your own story to say who you are why you did it why this product is a uh, a need of the hour in the market and then you can finally finally you will be able to uh, uh, convince a investor be it angel or vc okay when it comes when it comes the expert like uh, rajan anandan from sequoia uh, you know venture capitalist what he says is be clear about what the investor wants to know from you so what they will expect If it is pre-launch funding, you need to speak about the market and team. What is the technical capability and how you are going to market it? And seed funding stage, you have to speak about marketing, team size, and early traction. How you are going to achieve that? And see this A funding, market, team, product market fit. How how much fit it is there, and what is the mod, and what is the TAM, SAM, all these things you have to speak about. all this uh, guidance are available within the uh, startup ecosystem inter, you know available so you have to go and uh, see how you have to prepare yourself to answer this so 
you need to um, just create your own story you should speak without fear as well as you need to really give them an inspiring story to show your passion whether they are going to invest or not that's not a problem but vcs are angel investors they will look forward for your passion first your understanding and your technical capability and 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 like that it goes so if you have a clear passion you will have a vision you will have a mission and then you can be able to say your story connect and to be precise you have to focus on the problem so for me i will say that younger generations are not getting developed as a full product when they are coming out of the institution they are just 25 to 30% they are covering that is only the core skills so i want to focus and compensate my portal will compensate on the uh, beyond the core skills requirements it's about the critical skills business behavioral leadership all these things so that like this you need to give a very clear story of where you are heading to so every information what we are providing in talent webs is fully online okay so because this is the world of online where you have to really reach out uh, to the people so that you can scale up your business easily and it is not the need of the hour only for tamil nadu or south india or india it is a global requirement everywhere you speak about skill development there is a huge gap that is where we are working on so when it so when it comes talent peps we provide services like you know psychometric assessments mentoring skill development experiential learning certifications so when you are developing as an entrepreneur you can join hand with us towards any of your development or mentoring support that talent peps will be able to help you okay so now we have as a as a closing point i will be able to um, give you few things on the venture capital side on the venture capital side like you know where you can identify them opportunities as i told you in the uka world it is so huge so what you need to do is first you need to set yourself according to the level where you are in. if you are in the ideation stage then you are going to move to the second level of your uh, product definition stage then what you need to be clear is how much funding i'll be requiring at what point of time that is the key thing you should be very clear about your runway how much i have at the moment and what is my month on month commitments with this money how many months i'll be able to go forward and what is my next earliest requirement so when i should start how i should identify there are opportunities within the accelerating programs if you are going to uh, register yourself with uh, startup india or startup tn or um, there are so many bodies like uh, as i told you in the earlier stage um, mumbai angels chennai angels network so these are the networks are so actively bringing up peoples to help for the startups in focus and there are so many vc companies are available i have almost around uh, list of 300 vcs who are actively in the uh, market indian market i can say okay 300 if you want i can share those um, uh, 
uh, Excel sheet with you uh, uh, through your institution. I can give it to your CEO. He will be able to give it to you because you don't have to reinvent the wheel. I have all the details, you know, uh, database, everything. Of course, your your institution will be also having at this point. They will be also able to help you. I will be also glad to help you. So uh, VCs startup ecosystem like startup india startup tn you know this is going to be your should be your first resource apart from that you can look into the global markets see for example in singapore there is a uh, network called slingshot there is there is a uh, um, uh, event is going on it's a uh, year long event Throughout the year, they will be uh, bringing in all the conglomerates, you know, like uh, all the technology con conglomerates and they will be running the event, Slingshot named us. So that is one good opportunity where you can uh, enter into the global market, Singapore market, where they, they give grant up to 200,000 Singapore dollars, 500,000 Singapore dollars. And I have seen in the last couple of years, around some uh, 18, yeah. Uh, around 12 to 18 companies from the Indian market, they have gained the um, grant from uh, Singapore government through Slingshot. So, not only the VC, VC should be the last because at the moment, the ratio of success within the VC is very, very limited. It's very, very limited because you know that um, the Indian market economical system is so volatile and it is, you know, sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. So VCs will evaluate your product in a very closer look, in a very stringent way. Sometimes it will be so hard for you. So start with the incubation. That will be always ideal. And then once the incubation is successful, you can move to an acceleration uh, programs. There are so many acceleration programs happening. Say, for example, 100x VC, one company uh, which is um, coming up with um, a, a better idea to invest on the startups with 1.25 crores in the future value. So 100x VC could be one opportunity. Like this, uh, first start with an incubation or if you are blessed with the good angel investors like me, you know, I didn't go for any incubation. They incubated me, I will say. So it is better to look for such good angel investors who understand your product and they should be like-minded. They should understand not only you, your product very well, and they should have the uh, business knowledge about your product. That will give a little bit leverage uh, for you to withstand for any kind of external pressures. So start with the angel that should be your family, your friends and relatives and then move on to the VCs and for identifying the VCs, the networks available is so huge. Uh, okay. You will meet hundreds of people. And for your information, um, like Amazon, like Twilio, like uh, Microsoft, all these companies, Google, all these companies are really, uh, you know, way ahead to help the startup entrepreneurs. Okay. It is with few thousand dollars, believe it or not. AWS is ready to give up to, uh, say, uh, I think $25,000. Uh, per month, uh, per uh, annum. Microsoft is giving 120,000 worth of uh, dollars credit to your business so that you can use all sort of Microsoft uh, uh, business, you uh, know, uh, Office or Microsoft Azure, Microsoft uh, Power, Power BI, Power Platform, Power Apps, you name it, everything will be available. Google is educating the startup and Google is providing the um, incubation, acceleration, learning and also technological support for startup to thrive. So if you are going to register your company, also register with the privileges. 
like you know where you are getting credits like microsoft credits google credits all these things will help you to develop your product in a very strong way so by this i conclude my uh, you know presentation and the floor is open for questions please feel free to ask any questions uh, it it should not be you know only related to the funding it can be towards any thing related to startup your personal development any please sir we have a question from puvi anban uh, he is asking if we get seed funding what is the ideal percentage of stake we need to dilute if we are a startup <laughs> it's a critical question you know because uh, at the seed stage you should be very conservative uh, you should start with little you should tell them that uh say 7% even sometimes okay and it can go up to 20% it's all depending on the value of your uh, current value of your company what could be the future predicted value so and how how long this um, investor is going to travel with you what is their exit expectation say 3 years or 5 years where you said so there are so many matrix we will play on this so we cannot blunt that is as i told you there is no hard and fast rule nothing is written on the stone you have to take a call on that moment um see for example for one investment opportunity one of my friend for his company when it comes the investment opportunity he invited the investor at par at par whatever it is we will because that is the survival point where the company has to go to the next stage so that is also possible so you have to take a decision based on that so um, you should have a good uh, combination of people like uh, a good auditor a good company secretary you know they will help you to understand what is your current value and how um, you can uh, predict it what is the uh, existing traction and it should be if it is month on month traction then it is simply superb your product is doing fine so you will you will be in the upper hand to you know negotiate if you don't have a month on month traction then it is so 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 it all depends on but a decent proposition it starts from you know even 5% to 20% that's a decent one which is going on thank you sir uh, hope i answered your question but it's a nice question to start with sir uh, i would like to ask a doubt from my end sir please uh, sir we live in a country where uh, we are encouraged to do a lot of stuff which, which will be in a development optimization right says for example uh, uh, i have been recently into uh, something called a shark tank uh, which was very very popular in uh, countries outside now when india brought it i'm really eagerly waiting for season number 2 because season number 1 was very good and then we had very great products like which made the market and then even if there are some companies which didn't get investment their product ideas were very much innovative so do you think sir if we uh, focus much into making this mainstream how will small scale entrepreneur and small scale businesses prosper you mean like shark tank yes sir a bit of yes sir like that uh, because uh, is uh, pitching in shark tank different from how we pitch to investors or it's just the same no it's a different ball game with this shark tank is a, it's a, it's not only a pitching platform it's also you know commercially they are trying to do something uh, in terms of attracting the uh, viewership right right, right so uh, that that platform is entirely different you they you will not get to use the uh, to that extent with the normal uh, investment you know i i have met few investors you know we had a coffee chat and then Uh, our discussion went hour long so uh, it's different but 
one thing what i am seeing from the shark tank uh, like uh, programs are you know it will it is really revealing the confidence what you have on the product and how much you are ready to uh, do your business in terms of negotiation in terms of facing the pressure and all these things that reveals you as a entrepreneur so that it will be really good for the investor to know that point so that that's a good platform but that's not the only platform I'll assistant say. sir thank you yeah. thank you sir Great. we have a so, question from chennai uh, yeah yes sir uh, the uh, question it's is not only the innovation plays the vital role in a startup definitely not definitely not it's all you know how you are going to uh, take up your product but one thing there should be a unique selling proposition in your product that 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 definitely not has to be the uh, innovative product or innovative solution okay but it should be unique in reaching the customers so for example i am uh, as talent peps we are answering within the hr domain skill development domain you know that how difficult it is you know நான் போய் சொல்லும் போது எல்லாமே எல்லாரும் என்ன கேட்பாங்க என்னன்னே தெரியாது இன்னோவேட்டிவா இருக்கணும்னு அவசியம் இல்ல பட் யுவர் சொல்யூஷன் வாட் யூ ஆர் ப்ரொவைடிங் டு கஸ்டமர் யூசர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஏஞ்சல் இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் குட் ஆர் பேட் ஆர் ஃபார் லாங்கர் ரன் சசி கிருஷ்ணன் அப்படி சொல்ல முடியாதுமா பிகாஸ் ஏஞ்சல் இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் இஸ் குட் பட் how many people you will go say angel is for small what a muscle is going okay you can't go beyond say like or or code rupees ke mela ninga poi angel ta poi ninga poi excuse panna mudiyad adhu mela poningna the ball game is different okay so uh, angel investment or 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 period of time ago for example or two years the first two years ke ninga angel vandu ninga vandu idu panna adukulla ungalku traction vandiruchuna then you can straight jump otherwise you can go next level or or, or pre seed funding to you know angel get up go now but still and that is not uh, advisable ena go ipo enoda example da na solla mudiyum enoda example la pathinga na na vandu angel ta da pona they are angel investors initially but suddenly vandu pathinga na covid vandirchu second round of investment na ga pesum bodu covid vandirchu so there was a big um, suffering what to do where to go next but my investors they really understand the business perspective and the potential of the business they said that not to worry okay we will support you for the next uh, until uh, we we gain the next level investors and still they are uh, along with me we are traveling they are like uh, my co-founders now so angel is good but not on the long term definitely not on the long term okay and uh, what is the difference between startup and incubator sri devi it's uh, see startup is like or kolandama okay it's a baby okay uh, say just think any baby it has to be in the womb for 9 months and uh, 10 days then it will come out of the come to the world yeah in case if a baby comes in 7 months it's a preterm baby it cannot withstand to the normal conditions of the world so what we will do we will put them inside the incubator to give certain level of oxygen required certain level of nourishment required avangalukku full gain a irukadhu ella proper organs ella develop a irukadhu so the doctors will give the required vitamin uh, you know multivitamins injections and they will be keep on monitoring the kid to grow எத்தனை கிலோ வரணும் ஒரு மூணு கிலோ வந்தா சஸ்டைன் ஆயிடும் அப்படின்ற வரைக்கும் இன்குபேட்டிங் 
and uh, will the blockchain technology with the involvement in fintech can grow going forward this is uh, bharat from a and yes yes bharat see uh, future is going to be blockchain okay um, that's it's, it's a very good um, question you asked because you are looking beyond okay so blockchain is going to change the way we are uh, what we are doing now so if you go back to 30 years uh, there is no credit card right there is a 30 40 years munadi credit card nra or concept e kediyadu mobile nra or concept e kediyadu but now we are uh, we are only revolving around those things and now credit cards are going up everything digi pay vandach right so like this in future within fintech blockchain is going to rule the technology because it is more safer and tracker is more easier and uh, there will be a in uh, privacy high level of privacy within the uh, system what we are going to adopt in the future so blockchain is going to be one of the uh, best thing so if you are going to develop anything any products it, it should be blockchain based product for fintech okay if institutions are coming forward as an angel investor whether more number of student startups can be evolved in this case how institution should make the framework or policy for sustainability oh fantastic sai krishnan <laughs> uh, okay of course uh, you are seeing are you uh, we, i didn't see any you know uh, innovation and incubation cells within the colleges and the universities before a decade okay but now it is evolving and it is motivating and government is providing corporates is providing uh, grants and support to the in uh, universities the educational ecosystem i will say to promote the young minds to become as the entrepreneurs so definitely we should encourage that every institution should encourage beyond the academics but na in the institute poi pesnalo na adha than solla they will say you come out of your regular approach you have to go beyond the core skills what is their passion align their passion and give them the importance of critical skills develop those critical skills and make their business knowledge and industrial knowledge widespread give them the excellent exposure and every institution is doing that now adu covid is a blessings in this guys i will say because everyone jumped into uh, digital world so uh, bringing in the experts is easy see i am just connecting with you within two days your institution asked me i agreed and i am connecting with you now and uh, we, we are discussing like this digital world has made this expansion of industry digital knowledge every institution should come up government should uh, bring the it is not the institution should uh, develop the framework or policy it is the government entire government should focus on the ecosystem of course they are doing it but the impact what we are seeing maybe on the initial stage it will be less but in future if you are going to say like in another 2 3 years of time the startup ecosystem will be so strong in india there is no doubt in that because the entire world is looking into the startup ecosystem of india and uh, you are all blessed to be in that moment you know because freshly sprouting so you can easily uh, gain the visibility and you will be able to reach it so institutions should support the individual to get them developed to help them uh, develop their ideation polish their ideation to move on to the next level whereas framework policy for sustainability it is not only the institutional thing it is the entire country's um, responsibility ipo na paakrad epdina we should develop human capability now if we fail then as a country as a whole country we will fail in another 10 years inniki namma vandu strong ana or manpower capability or human capability develop pannalena another 10 years we will miserably fail as a country 
so sustainability in varumbodu it should come from the top down policy frameworks and all should come from top down but efforts towards sustainability should go from bottom up for example or environmental uh, sustainability plastic thura podakudadu poi kuppaila podano adha vandu proper ah vandu nama vandu dispose pananu abindrathu ethana per follow up pandrom do we have that responsibility road la ichithu pogudadu endrom do we have that responsibility appo sustainability and the process la responsibility enga irundhu varudhu appadina it comes from bottom up whereas policy and frameworks always it should come from top down oh, it's a great question here i like that thank you will grants support a startup for long run no ma rubini you see grants are to motivate you to to polish to keep your uh, engine uh, frictionless okay to to make it more uh, smooth all that it's just a grant it don't help you on a long run will the nda mandate in startup ecosystem uh, if it is required how it empowers the startup ecosystem okay it is highly it's a great question see if you are going to get one good uh, uh, ip consultant intellectual property rights consultant they will help you in all this stuff you can create a standard nda mandate whatever it is anything you are going to discuss you have to um, apply see because you are in the initiation stage right ideation stage it has to be protected and if you are going for copyright copyright la mudinje ella vandiruchu appadina then it's a different ball game you don't have to if talent webs aarambathile pathina every single people we used to take a nda and uh, if you are going to discuss with any one consultant or investor so yeah they all will accept this so there is no harm that please uh, sign the nda before we discuss anything no they will also accept it they knows the policy it is in the process itself so it will empower definitely it will empower the startup ecosystem it is mandatory it is a part and parcel of the entire system a fantastic i i like this group because the good questions are coming up how to select good angel investor based on equity stake or other options wow <laughs> see idu vandha appadina sachin ku endha ball podalam adinu or bowler decide pandra mari or question idu endha ball potala adinu right how to select a good angel uh, first as i uh, i was explaining this before they should understand you your vision and your mission they should value that they should know you very strongly and they should believe in your vision your product and they should have a thorough idea of your mission how you are going to execute it idu irukano or or angel vande avangalukku funding kudukka poraarna kudutal avaru vande okay he will turn it up into a big project and and the confidence neenga kudukano so selecting the good angel ku onne onnu da avar he should come along with you for a long run innikku panatha kudutittu naalaiku pinnadi vandu nikka koodadhu enna aachu nu solittu angels mostly they don't because they knows they just invest and they will wait and see how it turns they don't get frustrated easily because they know the risk initially angels ellarkume vandu okay i am a angel investor and this product is in the ideation say this is a startup so risk is high adanalada mm-hmm. avanoda stake um high age panga so they knows that very well anal good angel nradhu one one da they should first value you and they should have a high empathy on you okay they should understand your pain points understand your things and how the business goes and uh, they should understand the business very well market when it is so bullish how to act when it is so bearish how to act onume illa zero point vandathu bullish illa bearish illa okay it is dead silent for months together during the covid appo enna pananu nradha they have to decide on so that is the very important point we need to look into the angel they should 
பி யுவர் பேக் போன் அதை வேணா ரூல் நம்பர் ஒன்னா வச்சுக்கோங்க ஹவு டு செலக்ட்னா அவங்க பேக் போனா இருப்பாங்களான்ற லெவலுக்கு யூ ஷுட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் ஓகே ஓகே அண்ட் தென் based on the equity stake or other options nu kekringa adu mostly equity dhaama other options la vanda adu it will be like a debt funding and mari poidum different uh, it is a entirely different uh, view point ku poidum avangala you cannot call them as a angel they are financiers right people those who are coming for equity they are only angels okay so i'll move i, I hope i answered if edach gap irundhuchuna please tell me okay i will add it up Uh, how to enhance the faculty skill into the startup ecosystem fantastic sai krishna okay uh, if uh, you need to uh, bring such uh, experts and to give them the awareness or or awareness level model create pannunga startup na enna startup la enna pannanum eppadi idu pannanum so first create an awareness and then with that awareness assess them this is a process okay first create an awareness for all the faculties and who are interested and who are more uh, able to gain the knowledge assess them what is their level of the knowledge and equip them with further skill development like startup la adukapra next level la avanga enna pannanum or startup eppadi incubate pannanum incubate pandradhukku or incubation cell ku enna enna venum what are the policies procedures available within the um, local government and the national government what are the f- uh, funding opportunities going around nariya padikano right yaar yaar funding vaangirukanga neenga onnu illa oru email ore oru email oru website la poi register panninga podu information will flood to them time e irukadhu so na enna pannuvena sometimes i just grab everything and i put it in my ipad and then you know while traveling i will be reading those things and i will take notes on it so ample informations are available for skill development and faculties ku it is ample so first start with bringing the industry experts and give them the awareness adukapram ipo 100 faculties irukanga na ellarkum and ability varumana definitely varadu so who are interested uh, group them up say 40 people and develop them aduk we will be able to help you talent webs can help you in terms of uh, that uh, faculty development areas and all we will be able to help you we will discuss in a separate note for that why academicians are not going beyond the academic how to empower them oh my god it's my pain point <laughs> you are asking uh, see it is not their um, fault sai okay uh, why because ningle solitinga it is um, academic is a system it's it's or 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 it's like four walls or 10 years 15 years academic ku la irundutom appadina adukapra adha taandi vera edhume think panna thonadhu okay and our academic system itself is so much old romba vayasa aichu appo or vayasana aal ter nu neenga enna edhirpaaka mudiyum you can't expect much more dynamism right enna pannanum appadina you have to equip them with information sir adu ka avanga ready a irukangala faculties appadina no academicians are really uh, not ready ena or pressure irukku unwanted pressure avanga mel irukku inda semester ku la ivlo syllabus ana mudikano inda syllabus la na vandu ivungalukku ivlo out outcome na kaatano inda maadhiriyana pressure la avanga irukiradunala avangalala vandu or regular mentoring support kudukonaale kudukka mudiyala that is what people used to tell me i used to you know discuss with people yeah id mari irukna idu dhaan sis avangalukku already they are having their own pressure appo idu everybody neenga and the system in the question vechikitte neenga oru therigitta poninga appadina idu ennal illa avaral maaru avaru solvaru ennal illa ivaral maaru so idu everybody will be pinpointing towards something that is why i brought this solution okay ba academy ku la avangala panna mudiyadhu so let allow the people to do it online or a student or a faculty can develop their skills if they are going to spend say 1 hour in a week 1 hour 52 varam 1 hour spend pannana 52 mani neram 2 hours spend pannana 100 hours on skill development 2 hours panna mudiyada na students ellam adha kekkra 
we are spending hours on social media network 5 hours or naalike pandra students la na paakuren appo 2 hours in a week da na solren adha nama spare pannona nammaloda skill development ku spare pannona engiyo poidalam that is what i will encourage and uh, why should we start building a proper team and hold on them or change on a regular basis going forward see uh, you are a creator okay you are just a creator team is the builder team alone can make you realize the product realization happens only with the team team comes and goes okay uh, regular basis la change pannunradala rule la kedaiyadu okay um, it, it's all part of the game <laughs> if you are doing well share uh, your uh, you know ப்ராஃபிட்ஸ் வித் தேம் எம்ப்ளாயி ஸ்டாக் ஆப்ஷன் வச்சு அவங்கள மோட்டிவேட் பண்ணிட்டே இருந்தீங்க அப்படின்னா தேவில் கம் அலாங் வித் யூ வெரி வெல் அதர்வைஸ் டீம் இல்லாம அவங்களால ஒண்ணுமே பண்ண முடியாது நீங்க எவ்வளோ பெரிய இன்வெஸ்டர் வச்சிருந்தாலும் ஏஞ்சல் இன்வெஸ்டரா இருந்தாலும் சரி விசியா இருந்தாலும் சரி இஃப் யூ ஐ டோன்ட் ஹேவ் அ ரைட் டீம் யூ கே நாட் பில்ட் த பிளாக்ஸ் ஸோ டீம் இஸ் வெரி வெரி எசென்சியல் ப்ராப்பர் டீம் அதுலயும் so you have to evaluate in a very um, close look and to select the people those who are going to come uh, long term so i think we are running out of time right uh, what is a good percentage of equity to allocate for investors and do at first stage giving a huge part of equity for investors are good uh, it is possible okay if they are going to invest more and you know that i am really going to realize this product உங்களுக்கு என்ன ப்ராடக்ட் ரியலைசேஷன் வேணுமா மார்க்கெட்ல போயிட்டு என் ப்ராடக்ட் டு பி த பெஸ்ட்ன்றது வேணுமா இல்ல அந்த கம்பெனில உங்களுக்கு பெரிய ஸ்டேக் வேணுமா இட் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆஸ் அ ஸ்டார்ட் அப் யுவர் ப்ராடக்ட் சுட் கோ டு த பப்ளிக் ரைட் யுவர் ப்ராடக்ட் சுட் பி கெட் யூஸ் பை த யூசர்ஸ் ஸோ இட்ஸ் நாட் அபவுட் கிவிங் த பிக் ஸ்டேக் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு யர்ன் தௌசண்ட் க்ரோர்ஸ் யூ கேன் யர்ன் இட் பட் before that your product should reach the end user so you may have to be flexible on giving a bigger equity uh, when it comes you know the right investors if they are right investors you can always give no problem because even if you hold say 30% and you are giving 70% to the investors and your company grows to a billion dollar company what will be your stake brother Thirty percent of a billion dollar, right? You don't want that. <laughs> so it is possible. So you can give it, give big and earn big. Is there any policy? Okay, it's not uh, uh, no harm in giving because you're going to get big. So give big, no problem. So in the Kadesi question, sorry, can I do a stop on your line, brother? Right. Okay. Now, uh, when is the right time to look for third-party angel investors for our startup? During what exact stage of our startup progress? Like after the prototype alone, or it's okay in approaching early itself? Okay. <laughs> See, uh, illa. Initially, you have to go with the close circle. Okay. When you are going for a minimum viable product is ready, you have something tangible to show. By then, you can go to the third party. Okay. product is ready then you can tell them see sir i have this and this is what i did when i did the project pilot and the outcome is this people are really liking it feedback is this testimony is this and uh, gtm is this traction will be like this so if you are going to give me this much i'll be able to give you this much within this much of year we will be able to reach this over a full gamut of line being on the photo that one okay so i think third party board the one it is advisable when you are in the minimum viable product stage otherwise it is good to go with okay uh, like after the prototype yes of course prototype mudinjadukku appuram vandha ponom fine so everybody is great i'm done question is also done but guys uh, uh, see it is not just uh, this webinar closes and i go out okay it's not like that you are almost everyone is welcome to connect with me through linkedin i'll be happy to help you towards any questions uh, you know any point of time 
and um, you can take my contacts uh, from the incubation cell if you want any support i'm happily available to help you this relation is uh, relationship is not just for this webinar okay because na on the pain point na vandu nare better na patruka on the webinar mudinjadukapra avanga epiyaachu contact pannano appdi nenicha they will not even linkedin la irundha kuda they will not even answer my questions i have suffered so i will not be like the same i'll be always open to the communication and i'll be glad to help you all guys okay and everyone uh, really i thoroughly enjoyed your questions and wishing you every success uh, my one humble request is don't just stick to your core skills go beyond and develop your critical skills business and industrial knowledge and the uh, behavioral skills and the leadership skills that is my only request if you want to be a successful entrepreneur professional in personal or in career that is the only secret for success okay thank you all and have a nice weekend great day i thoroughly enjoy thank you for the opportunity to the cid thank you so very much sir it was a pleasure listening to you these words sir i'm pretty damn sure they will be etched in our minds forever and then we'll know what is the formula for the secret of success Oh, fantastic. With this, we have come to the other side of the lake where the water ends and the thinking begins. I would like to thank uh, every single person out here from the bottom of my heart for being a part of today, and I sincerely hope all of you had a good time. And I would like to thank the management for providing me with this wonderful opportunity. It is time we go rethink, rebuild, redesign, and reclaim. Happy Saturday to one and all of you. Stay hydrated, eat well, sleep well, and stay happy. This is yours, Anbudan Prasanna, signing off. நன்றி வணக்கம்